Hello everyone, this is Satvik and this video we will be discussing about the Swiss Army Knife called as a crack map exec. So when you are in Active Directory and this is like a Swiss Army Knife, you have a lot of functionality with this tool and I will be covering few of them. So without getting any delay, let's dive into the video. guys first of all really really thank you for all your support if you want to connect with me personally you can check out my twitter and linkedin and if you want to be part of this channel's community you can check out my discord server all the links are in the description below so first of all crack map exec so it's also known as cm it's like a post exploitation tool so once you are in an active directory network so like i use it mostly for an active directory uh, lateral movements and sort of stuff so it's a post exploitation tool so if you have some sort of a credentials or some sort of stuff which gives which may give you an initial access then this is going to be very useful for you okay it's by default installed on kali but if you want you can install it uh, using uh, like i'll leave the link for this wiki as well so you have a lot of stuff to do so i'll be covering some of them like there are so much stuff uh, if i try to cover all of them in this video it will take like uh, one or two hours it's a very big tool but i'll try to cover my best so you can install it from here or it's simple like apt install crack map exec so i have my uh, active directory network here so it's based on EV, Mr. Robot team. So the domain name is yeah, the, the, the domain name is evilcorp.com. So let's quickly dive in. So first of all, uh, run crack map exec. So the, for the first time, it is going to insta, uh, initiate a few databases and stuff. So currently I'm having 5.40 version. It's working fine for me. There are some latest versions as well, like 6.10. So you can try out. So if some of the stuff are not working, you can always update so you can you have the init, uh, installation guide there in the repository it's like in the wiki, wiki so you can go and get your stuff from there so you have like few protocols supported rdp ssh ftp winrm mssql ldap and smb so most of the time personal i use it for smb and rdp so whenever i get few credentials i try to do, you know like do password spraying on rdp and smb so these are some stuff and there are other services as well so if you want to know more about a few stuff so crack map exec so for example smb and hyphen hyphen help so you'll get more options about that particular module or the particular protocol so in this video mostly we'll try to cover on smb so we have several options here so you can provide a username or you can provide a username file you can provide a password if you have one or you can provide a password uh, you know like a word list file sort of stuff and uh, you know, like uh, there are a few options like continue on success and sort of stuff so let's try first so first of all let's do password spraying so password spraying is something where uh, let's assume you got to know a few credentials like one password or sort of stuff and you have some sort of a uh, set of you know username so you try to spray that password on all the usernames so let's do so quick tip so try to paste or you know provide the uh, ip or the range just after the service that you provided so if you don't provide that you will be not getting any stuff here so you can see that uh, uh, you can see that there is uh, like in this particular list of that so scott the username scott has this particular password but it is not sufficient because uh, you know like you just uh, you just know that this particular credentials are right but this doesn't mean that this particular user has access on that system so there is a, a certain scenario for that so let's go and let me grab one more credential and let's do uh you know like this credential stuff uh brute force on uh, password spraying on one more thing IRL at the rate ce0 so this is one of the credentials that i have so let's try you can see uh once you get a valid domain so valid administrator so this is a dc here so this is my dcip so this is this guy is going to be the administrator on that particular server so you can see that uh tyrell at the rate ceo and you you can see it's pawn so tuned or pawn whatever it is it depends upon your pronunciation it means that you have complete access to that server like you can just uh you know uh, stuff these credentials into a psxec or SMB, uh, smb exec or wma exec and you can just uh, you can just get access like a domain administrator on that server so but one thing here that's bugging me is like you only it is only checking for two users but there are like couple of users for me for example if i do users.txt you can see there are some other users as well so if you want to see if you want to check for like sometimes the password may be repeated you don't know so then in that case you know if you want to continue so there is an option called as continue so 
so like even though it finds a bad credentials it goes to the next post so like uh, it tries the next combination so that is what i'm trying to say so i hope it's clear so this is one type of attack so for example if you don't know the password okay if you don't know the password for example like you want to just do a brute force attack you can use the rock dot text okay and i can do continue on success it is going to take a lot of time so i'll hit control c because i'll try to you know uh, make it a bit simple for you guys so you can see once you get a valid credential you can see it's going to be a plus mark here uh, within this square bracket you can see if you take if you take an example for here you can copy this we'll try to grab it okay so we'll try to make this bit simple so we'll only grab uh, you know this thing let's see how many we'll get so like it's go like the reason why i'm trying to do this is like if you observe previously like you are getting lot of clumsiness over here so you know like uh, it's going to mess up even though you find a valid credentials you may miss up uh, you may miss out uh, viewing that so if you try to do grab and this sort of stuff like you're just like uh, checking for that and also i'll just hit control c i'll just hit control c because it's going to take a lot of time because it's rocky.txt if you want specifically search for pwned so you can search for that as well so like trying to use grab you know like you're trying to pipe so this is not a rocket science i'm just trying to pipe and i'm just trying to make my output look better okay so this is one attack and also okay so for example i'll hit control so i'll go back to this tyrant and for example uh, you can if you can you don't even need to provide ip every time you can even provide a post as well so 24 for example my subnet is going to be 24 and uh, you can see it is checking you can see it's it, like there are only two systems as of now you can see it spawned on 134 which is which is my domain controller and 136 which is a client so like he's a domain administrator like that is how i configured so as he's a domain administrator he can log into other systems as well as an administrator privileges and you can just list the shares uh, of the uh, if you find some valid credentials using this option so you don't even need to provide the domain name all the time it auto detects but it's better to provide if you are getting some issues with your output so you can see it's validating with all the hosts within this network and you can see it pawn and you can see few uh, shares over here and there is a share called a sharing so you have a syswall share with this share this particular share name sharing is bit uh, you know uh, new like th this doesn't show up all the time and once you see a syswall share that means it's a domain controller so that's the thing and that is how you can list all the shares and also you can also uh, list all the disks okay with this option hyphen hyphen disks okay so like uh, i try to run it with the range because you know like when you are on a host uh, like when you are on an internal network you will have several hosts out there so it's always better to run on a range so it is going to be very easy uh, to spray passwords and st sort of stuff and there is one more option called as sessions so you can check all the active sessions of who logged in currently and sort of stuff so these, uh, this particular tool makes uh, the process much more easier. So I logged into domain controller. Let's see whether it will find out or not. No, it didn't find out. Okay, fine. And that's how you can do it. And you can also view the password policy. So for the password policy, I think you need to uh, provide. Let's see. Sometimes it asks you to provide a domain controller IP in the place of Argos. You can see also it shows up. So you can see the password policy as well. So how it shows up and sort of stuff. Okay, now let's go to a specific host instead of uh, running it on all the uh, hosts. For example, this is my client machine. And uh, let's try to dump SAM hashes. Uh, SAM, you know, right? Uh, SAM, SAM hashes. So that's where hashes are stored in a Windows machine. It, and also you can dump, uh, uh, you know, like you can even dump LSA, LSA, and LSA secrets and NTDS as well. So the options are very simple for LSA. It's going to be an LSA and I'm not going to run all this stuff because uh, you can try them uh, on your home lab. So it's very simple. And also these are few ways to dump it. And also there is an option to dump the groups. So what groups are present and uh, So it takes some time. So let's wait. In the meantime, let's open a new tab and uh, now check for users uh, who are valid users. 
me copy this command but here you need to provide the host uh, the the name the ip of your domain controller okay so in order to enumerate the users okay so you can just hit enter so once it's it should be a valid user and you can see who are all the users that are available so it's going to be very helpful for you when you are uh, like you may not always know all the users in the domain controller but once you have a valid credentials you don't need to be a domain admin uh, in order to get the users okay you, you can even be a domain user and you can obtain these as well so i have observed that sometimes it shows up uh, even though if you are not a domain admin okay so let's see uh, groups it's taking time let me hit control c okay so that is how you can uh, look for uh, thing so now let's go back to crack map exec sorry smb hyphen hyphen help and let's see other options you can run commands as well specific commands so it you can execute a normal command and you can even execute a powershell reversal you can execute like powershell commands as well so you can simply pass a powershell based reversal here and you can get to your connection back okay it's very simple uh, i got that so you can even get an obfuscated script as well so just try that out and there are several modules out there so let's try to view those modules so it's very simple to view the modules so hyphen l lists out all the modules that are available so you have mimikatz module you have like several modules out there let's wait it's taking some time so you can see it says uh, detect the principular service is enabled or not okay so you have few options let's try to look for the spooler service so hyphen hyphen options and it shows you all the options no options are required okay fine so let's go and uh, how to run this module is very simple so just provide some credentials okay and hyphen m module hyphen m uh, and spooler module name let's try to go and provide the ip of the domain controller because if that's where it's going to be running so it just checks whether the service is running service is enabled so you can check for the print spooler service vulnerabilities like uh, uh, print spoofer or uh, you know like print nightmare vulnerabilities it may be vulnerable but you are just checking for the service and there are several other options out there so you can go and check them out okay so that's it like uh, and also like i tried i'll show you for other services as well so how you can do that so like if you want if you want to try the same uh, brute force attack on some sort of you know rdp or other services you can try them okay so for example i'll go to yeah for example this is the thing you can try rdp like rdp is not there in this uh, in this stuff but let's try okay i'll just try to show you how this works so most of the time i face issue with this rdp so it doesn't show it shows mostly false positives so be careful so for rdp this is not reliable but for smb it's very reliable okay so you can look for a lot of stuff from smb and also if you want to know more so for example if i didn't i covered didn't cover you know uh, ms sql so you can do password spraying these, these are just like changing few options here and there you can even do ssh password spraying as well this works ftp password but these services are not enabled on my uh, local active directory network or my home network so I couldn't show all this stuff so you can see password spraying uh, how you can do that you can see uh, it'll even show you how it works but for me it is not going to work because rdp is not even enabled here so i'll just hit Control c and uh, you can see uh, rdp and uh, the screenshots so for rdp only that's it i can check whether uh, it's showing up or not and it even takes a screenshot so if you want to validate it later and for wma exec 5589 and 5588 some port should be enabled so if they are enabled on your target machine then you can even do the password spraying on this wma service and sort of stuff so you have a lot of options uh not wma sorry it's uh if for winrm it's 5589 or something port so it should be enabled so for wma exec so it's a different port so make sure those ports are enabled on your target server uh, server or service like application or host so that uh, you can try out this stuff but for smb you have a lot of options you can go and try them out 
so that is it guys for this video if you do end up liking this video make sure you like it and do share with your friends who are really interested in this sort of stuff and also as i told you earlier i'll be covering a lot of tools which helps you in preparation for oscp and also for the pen testing so previously i covered about legolo ng which is a pivoting tool i'll leave the link for that video also in the description below so you can go and check that out and really thank you for watching this video till the end this is satvik signing off i'll meet you in the next video thank you